Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We are here at an unattended death here in St. Pete, Florida. This one, uh, you can definitely tell that he was here for a while. Uh, he pretty much melted right here, so this is gonna be our concentration. This right here is his skin, uh, that it fell off, melted it off, off of him onto the mattress. General Manager of Spalding Decon Tampa here, Steve Wolf. We are here at an unattended death here in St. Pete, Florida. Um, we are just going to be handling the master bedroom. Retirement community, they are gonna redo the entire floor anyways. So we are just handling the bio portion today. Gonna be a little bit sticky and muggy out today. The window has been open in the master bedroom since they found the body. Um, so it's gonna be an intense one, but I think we're gonna get this done fairly quickly. Follow me. This right here is his skin uh, that it fell off, melted it off, off of him onto the mattress. So when they were taking the body, you'll see skin here. You'll see a concentration of blood right here. Here's a little bit, here's some more skin from him. Okay, right here. This hair looks like it's off of his body. This one, uh, you can definitely tell that he was here for a while and he melted. What happens is he blows with gas and then his skin starts to melt off of his bones. That's what we are ha we're having here, okay? This is something that we can kind of help determine the, the how long he sat here before he was discovered. So our main task today is to remove the mattress and then to clean the floor. What the uh, condo association has asked us to do is just focus on the bio and then do a surface cleaning on the floor. So instead of removing the floor all the way to the seam, which is what we do in a typical situation, they just want us to focus on the bio area. So after we focus on disposing of the biohazardous waste that is on the mattress, we're going to pick, we're going to pick up, we're going to indicate the floor here where we believe that there is bio matter here. If you look right here, there's a big concentration of what we believe is blood hair. Uh, he pretty much melted right here, so this is gonna be our concentration. Once we figure out what it is, we will carve that out, and then we are going to treat the subfloor underneath it to the extent that we, gotta, we have to chase the, the biohazard fluid as far as it goes. But we're gonna treat that floor, and then we will seal it with a, uh, a kills paint on top of it. All right, stay tuned for more. You know I split my head, I didn't go to the hospital. What you just saw there was Mario was indicating the mattress because he wants to see if all of this is bio. Sometimes we'll have a point where it's bio and it's regular body soil from sweat and oils that are in the mattress that discolor. This looks like this mattress has been um, used for a long time. This light yellow discoloration is just from long-term wear and tear on the mattress. This right here, where he's indicating, so he sprayed this whole area and we just have small traces of what is actually bio. We use our, our indicator to let us know what is considered biohazard. We actually have a new technician with us today, so it is his job to learn how to cut a mattress today. So watch and learn with them. A foot out, going that way, and foot out this way, but since we got here and a little over here, just take the whole thing from this side, just come all the way across. Bio waste is the portion we're cutting out. The rest is just right. regular disposed mm -hmm. trash. Yep, you gonna let him cut or you gonna do it? No, he got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm just saying he already started. Are you good? So from the top. And I kind of just want to see for a quick. Yeah. So now that we have the main source on the top of the bio removed, after I cut it out, then we're gonna spray it, indicate again if more bio got trapped up underneath. Yeah, hair and shit. Can you spray this spot again? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yep. Right there. Right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. So we have bio right here. We sprayed this whole area and it didn't really indicate, but we still had a question. So Mario re-indicated this spot and this definitely shows us that there's, there's bio. So we're going to pull this same square. We're going to pull all this cushioning out. So what you do, just pull it. Okay. And as we do this, we got to go layer by layer to figure out how deep we're, we got to go. Cut out the springs too. Yeah, we, we need to. to. Yeah. Like I said, these are metal springs, so that box cutter is not gonna work. We're gonna have to get snips or dikes to cut to cut them and get us our frame if we indicate. Oh, that's rust. No. All right guys, so we just indicated the springs. It did not get through to the springs. So now that we've indicated this mattress, we've cut out what we've seen as bio. Now we're gonna dispose of the carcass of the mattress. What is left? This goes down as regular trash. All right guys, so now the mattress and the box spring have been removed. As you see, we have a blank canvas here, which is the floor, in which we are going to indicate to see if there's any bio left on this floor before we do our surface clean. So we'll spray. Everywhere, this entire room gets sprayed. Well, that's definitely blood. Yeah, indicated over here, about the side of the bed where it was. So the blood probably dripped off a bit, off the side of the sheet, probably slid it down. All right, so here where the side of the bed was, we have a big indication right here. This is the only area that indicated. Um, we're gonna have to, everything else in here is just regular waste. So this is the area that we're focused on. We're gonna have to remove this and cut up part of the floor so that we can see if it has seeped through the ground. It indicated that blood. just vacuum the entire surface. We didn't get everything because there's stuff that on the floor that needs to be rehydrated so that we can separate it from the floor. This right here is dried to the floor. So without adding some sort of chemical or liquid to it, it, we, it won't uh, come up without scraping or scarring the floor. We don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to rehydrate this so that we can get it off the floor. Focus on the, the cracks as much as possible. That's where we can see it. This right here, this is indicating. See this? The white right there? That still shows indication. I've already done one layer of cleaning and it's still indicating in, in the cracks. So blood, water, all that stuff, it runs to the seams. This is where it, co it concentrated. So on a lot of the other portions, like over this one, this one is not indicating, but there was a lot of hair and other stuff that was over this. That's probably why it's not, not so much right here. I have some indication right here. That really means we gotta go underneath it. Okay, now fold it and put it in the bio bag. Good. All right, now pull up the rest of your square using that, yep. There it is. So Steve, what are you spraying on the concrete right there? This is just simple green. It's just so we do a surface uh, surface clean of this area before we paint it. So what I'm gonna do is I just put the simple green on there. I'm gonna I'm gonna scrub it. Then it's gonna vacuum it up again to make it dry, and then we're gonna seal it.
Steve, can you tell me why we're taping up the square like that? I don't want to damage the floor. I know they're taking it up anyways in the grand scheme of things. It doesn't matter, but we want to provide the most professional service we can. So trying to tape it down before we, we paint is the way to do it. So another thing that you guys might wonder why is why we get a perfect square, not like the shape of the bio. We do a perfect square in every situation. We did a square or a rectangle because last thing a loved one wants to see when they come in here is us painting the outline of a body. Those days where you guys see the crime scene and the outline of a body, we don't do that. We are here to help make people's house a home again. So we're gonna paint this area a square so they don't know exactly where the bio was. So, we, use, we have both killed as a spray paint can, can, it's a sealer, or we have rolling on paint. Mario or Lisa mentioned likes the spray can because he feels that it's easier, but as you see, he's having a little bit of trouble because this can isn't all the way full. gonna pull up the the LVT as I said we made it where their maintenance people can come in here for you guys that are watching on in YouTube land turning it is what apartments condos talk about when they change from one tenant to another tenant they're turning the apartment so that's what we're doing is making sure that the maintenance people come in here restore this apartment so that they can turn it on to the next tenant tune in next time make sure you guys like follow and share for more content from us all year long. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching today's episode of Crime Scene Cleaning. Don't forget to subscribe to our new channel, Talking Decon, where we interview some really interesting people in the industry, but we also have some great talks about prominent serial killers and really prolific crimes. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to Talking Decon. For more information, visit any of our locations.